Well, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, during a chat group we had over the Christmas holiday, uh, I was somebody told actually told me that they didn't know that this stuff was available. So I pulled out the catalog, the Pioneer Equipment, and I'm gonna go through it and show you that true off-grid homesteading is still possible. And uh, as far as your ultimate emergency preparedness equipment, if you want to raise uh, food and stuff for your family, let's see just what can be done. Okay, so let me arrow on down here and we'll get this uh, catalog going here, I think. There we go. Uh, anyway, there's the fancy uh, buckboard, you know. Of course, that that wagon right there could be pulled by one horse. I mean, <clears throat> two horses on that right there would be like nothing. It'd go up a mountain with a fully loaded with fat people uh, with two horses. But anyway, there's a little picture of their factory. And this little piece of equipment, they call it the Pioneer Homesteader. It just has oodles of attachments. Just one device here. You can put a plow on it, you can put disc on it, you can put a harrow on it, uh, you can put a potato rake on it. So for, uh, you know, a family, you got two horses here, and it, I would recommend two horses with a plow, uh, unless you got a big, big Clydesdale or something. But anyway, this right here, you could easily plow your acre garden in a, in a day's time. Actually, pl plow it and disc it in a day's time, an acre, with that little gizmo right there. Now, eh, I didn't say it was going to be uh, easy, and it won't take you five minutes like you might find with a big tractor, but within a day's time, you've got an acre. And if you have a big family, you know, Hey, you can go five days, five acres. Have five acres ready to plant uh, for a neighborhood, even. You know, so uh, you could, you know, go to uh, other neighbors' yards with this and plow up their little quarter-acre gardens. You know, four or five hours. You know, plow up their garden uh, in your neighborhood. So that's just uh, one little thing, and it has all kinds of attachments. I mean, here, let me go down. Here's all the attachments available for it. You know, it's got the potato plow, the harrows, uh, the discs, and uh, the hilter. So there's your uh, horsepower right there. Now there's your... That's called the Pioneer Buckboard, and there it shows it with one horse, which unless you're in the mountains is really all you need. And uh, you and your wife and six kids in the back there can all go to church on Sunday in this nice-looking uh, buckboard. Of course, you don't have to get it that fancy. You can get it with other options, and they do make a canopy for it. You know, so you can have some shade or uh, from, you know, the rain and stuff like that. Or there's a version right there. You want to haul your uh, your hog to the slaughterhouse uh, or your few goats or a bunch of chickens in the back of it there. You can haul some livestock. Uh, so you can make a bigger version to haul with a team of horses. And there it is again with the... Uh, different varieties and different versions of it. Here's another version of it that's in a natural wood color yeah, under a single horse thing. There's your bug out vehicle. Just uh, remove that, uh, what do you call it, uh, back seat there and you can put a mattress in the back there and sleep in the back of it if you had to but you do like most people, you're going to keep all your stuff in there and you're going to wind up with your bedroll up underneath this wagon. You know, it's like they did in the old days, they slept under the wagons. Well, they slept in it, under it, you know, any place they could get shelter. 
Now here's something that uh, nobody really knew that even existed. There's your gang mower. You can take your horse and mow your lawn. Have one of those nice, what do you call it, uh, uh, that's the same kind of lawnmower they use on the golf courses. Of course, don't mow the yard when it's wet. Otherwise, the horse's hooves will make a mess of your yard. So you don't want to do this while the ground is wet and soggy. Well, any mower would be, you wouldn't do it when it's wet and soggy. But as long as the uh, earth is firm, yes, it can be done. And I've seen it done, and it works quite well. Uh, here's a, uh, oh, I forgot what they call this cart. It's a little cart, and you just put attachments on the back of it. It's something more like what I'm going to wind up with. Uh, just a potato plow. You know, I always think, why get just this when you can get that a homesteader and uh, place all these different attachments? Of course, this is made for a bigger farm where you're going to have, you know, three or four people working and each of those people will have a team of horses so this is like for a community yeah, this is what the Amish use and this is all Amish made equipment and for y'all folks up north uh, there with Yankee Prepper <laughs> uh, Yankee wants to uh, plow with some snow there's a snow uh, gizmo or you can go sledding you can take him and the Yankee Prepper family, the snow sledding. I thought this was interesting right here, was this uh, dump cart. I kind of like the idea of the dump cart. Uh, of course, this is called a four cart. Now, only the dump cart is only this part of it. And then there's the four cart up here. In a minute, we'll get to the four carts. But, uh, yeah, I love that dump wagon idea there. And, uh, man, that would be... That would be great. I like that. That is just uh, slicker than snot. <laughs> okay, here's the four cart. Now, this is what you would hook in front of the dump, dump wagon. Now, these four carts are made that you can hook two and four horse teams to it. Because back here is like a hitch. And you can hitch logs and anything else to it. This is, uh, you know, this is where you just back the back the horses up, hook your log to it, and pull it out of the forest. And that's what they use right here. This is it. I just take that basket off. And let's see if we see a different version of it here. Uh, yeah. Here we go down here. There it is with the little uh, ball hitch on it instead of the basket. Of course, you can get a sunshade for it. And there's different types of seats. You don't have to get this seat. You can get that seat. Uh, they even have a little electric hydraulic unit, a 12 volt hydraulic unit for the dump wagon. So you can actually uh, use that dump by hydraulics. So uh, there you go. And now here's the draft horse version. This is for the big horses. They show the uh, ruggedness of the version for the draft horses. And here's more my speed. Uh, this is what Cleo will be pulling, more than likely. And behind it, of course, I could put a uh, regular wagon or anything behind it and go to town. So, uh, that right there, you know, a little red rider wagon or something bigger. You know, some of those little farm wagons. You just hook up to the hitch behind here, take that basket off, hook it up to the hitch and, you know, you're going to make a little tent over the top of it for the sun, you know, keep the sun off your head. And on a nice day, go to town. And I have no problem with it. I mean, uh, people think it'd be a shame to doing something like that. And, you know, they claim to be Christians. And Jesus went into town on a donkey. I mean, this would be like luxury, Jesus going to town on something like that, wouldn't it? And that's what everybody's worried about, what somebody else thinks. Uh, there's some photo tillers and uh, there's a four horse team hooked up to that little gizmo which probably could have been done with a two horse team but later on down here okay there's uh, your cows 
cows hooked to the single horse plow. This is when you walk behind. Uh, this could probably be done with one horse, a good sized one, or even Cleo could do it. You just have to give her more breaks, you know, and the ground couldn't be hard. It would have to be like after a rain. And uh, you could plow a small garden with that. Now here we get to the be better plows. This is what the uh, Amish use, and this is why you see three and four horses. They sit on this one, and uh, you can actually see where they sit on it, and they plow a lot more. Now we'll get down to the really fancy plow. This is uh, a lot of plow. This is what you would uh, put behind a Category 2 tractor. Of course, we have these Category 2 tractors that cost $40,000, and let's see what we got here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we got about twelve thousand dollars worth of horse. I don't know. Let's say, let's just say twenty thousand dollars worth of horses and equipment there. Okay. Problem is, these horses reproduce, so they can reproduce and go on forever and make more and more and more. And these people here know how to make these harnesses, so they can keep on going and going. These are the true homesteaders. You want to see some true homesteaders? Go check out the Amish. And there's a version of it. You know, it's got two plows under it. There's a smaller version. Like I said, you get to the uh, the homesteader version will do most families, and you just get extra parts for it. So the homesteader version and a team of just regular horses would uh, do, or one big old draft horse. Now here we go with the wagons and gears. You can see uh, you can get all these different gears. Uh, the one I was looking at is this one ton gear and not putting one of these on it but putting something else on it. And, uh, you can see there's a bigger one. Now this right here technically if you put wheels on that that thing is big uh, Let's see, five and a half, five foot eight inches wide, and twelve foot long. Now, what kind of camper could you make out of something that's? Well, let's just make it six foot by twelve foot. That would be a pretty good size camper. You know, you can make a nice camper out of that. Travel across the country in something like that. Truck drivers do it all the time in something that's only seventy inches. That's right. The average sleeper on those tractor trailer trucks you see going down the road are 70 inches and I spent 25 years of my life uh, in a bedroom and living room that was 25 or 70 inches wide some were even smaller shows the uh, different things uh, that's you know as long as you're on level ground a team of horses can pull a lot of weight a lot of weight and I, you see farmers today they're out using their forty thousand dollar tractor to do this, well, they don't even do square bales anymore because uh, you can't get nobody to help you. The young folks are, are just too spoiled. That's why that's why 90% of the people is going to die. It's because they're spoiled. And there's a uh, set of gears. Of course, that would be for a, a big team of horses or a tractor. That's for pulling a lot of weight right there. <clears throat> of course, horses can pull. The uh, round bell hayer. That is a horse drawn PTO unit. So we'll go down here and look at them. That's right, there's an engine and a power takeoff shaft. And this little gizmo replaces a tractor. So now you can do the work of a tractor with your horses. And all you have to do maintenance on is this little bitty thing right here your cost has gone way way down so I mean even if I was to get a farm uh, do another farm I would consider this just because of the cost savings with one of these carts you could uh, do almost as fast as with a category 2 tractor 
sure you wouldn't have your air conditioned cab, but you know, get over it. I've never had an air conditioned. I don't even have an air conditioned vehicle now. I don't remember when the well when I was driving the big truck. I was driving somebody else's vehicle. I was the only time I ever had air conditioning. I don't know what that thing's for. Snowblower maybe. <laughs> but anyway, there's your equipment. We're working them up. You know, you want to hook six of them up, however you want to do it. Shows the different types of wheels available. You can even get a house seat. So uh, there you go, folks. It's uh, all there. Now I'm gonna go over here and uh, minimize. All right, one last resource I wanted to talk about here was the uh, ruralheritage.com. A magazine of course you go to their website and they got all different kinds of stuff for horses and horse horse powered equipment uh, not just pioneer equipment they got books uh, everything you ever wanted to know about hooking your horse up different type of carts draft horses owner's manual I mean uh, there's your implements book owner's manual you got videos uh, this is where you get your edgy location on uh, all things horsepower. I just wanted to throw that in there. That's uh, www.ruralheritage.com.